morning everyone saturday about to go get some uh <clears throat> crawfish right now i'm gonna show you how we uh how my wife gets down on that 90 pounds of crawfish so we're gonna head out to uh lewisville to this place that my cousin turned us over to uh so we're gonna see what their crawfish is like they bought it themselves and we bought it for them a couple years back and uh they look legit so hopefully this year it's the same thing all right we'll stay tuned these are 30 pounds so i got three of these we're gonna go ahead and dump in dump one into here i got two of these so one to this one another 30 pounds into the other one and then we'll put the last 30 pounds into this bucket this is the boiler for the 90 pounds uh holds 150 quarts we've had this thing for years you can tell but um it says two propane jet burners with a total of 135 uh thousand btus for an average boil time of 28 minutes that holds true unless this is a uh kind of one of those things where you regret inviting people and then they're waiting for hours we actually i told my son grab the uh propane bottle but it was the wrong one it was an empty one and it was burning on fumes and it took forever but we were all drunk so uh, it didn't turn out so great but people ate it anyways uh, pat us on our back and you know uh, told us good job but it really takes 30 minutes it, it's not long at all uh, so this thing we fit 90 pounds of crawfish inside here and it has the strainer uh, where you can lift this up then dump them onto this tray and then they you know it has these two braces here you can take the uh support out from the back right here and then dump it down into whatever pool or table or whatever you're doing uh and then you can drain it from here wash it out this thing has lasted us a very long time outdoor uh gourmet uh you know we just clean it right before uh days before we make sure everything's working um uh, it comes with a few uh attachments like the hose so you don't have to buy that uh this boiler is a badass boiler so and then we went to i think we went to bucky's or academy they got them the same same style but we got these little uh like to purge the crawfish so it gives you instructions on how to do it you dump them in there you hook up a hose uh, you got to assemble it you know it's a couple of screws and uh, uh water hose adapters throw it in there you let them float you turn the water on it drains out through here and this keeps the water flowing so they kind of go in a circle yeah these these are good so let me get the information I'll, I'll put it on the video of where we got them at in Louisville um, they're actually really good sizes um, you see they're all active and alive these guys are I had them on ice before when I was traveling so some of them are a little you know still uh, defrost ice so we're gonna go run to the uh, ice dispenser make sure you pack these things on ice you want them alive when you cook them as as much as possible uh there's gonna be a few dead ones struggling but yeah look at the size of these they're actually pretty damn good yeah all right we got the crawfish on ice so you can see packed them full of ice put them in the shade i'm gonna try to keep them alive as best as possible so throw as much as ice on them keep them frozen got the uh, ice chest set up boiler going well boiler set up got some giant jenga got my little uh cornhole set up got the tables some more ice chests just in case it gets cold got the heater i got three of those uh, got the fire pit back there so we ready to party as soon as uh we get this started I'll fill y'all in on the action, show y'all uh, more or less what we do.
put both of those or? Yeah. That's for nine, 90 pounds. Yep, go ahead. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Added the mushrooms in last. 90 pound crawfish. All right, so apparently I had too much fun on my birthday, which is all good, so I didn't get footage, but you get the gist of it. Throw everything in the boiler, uh, but I'm gonna show you the process of cleaning. It's very easy. Moved it over here to the back of the yard. Just tilt this thing. You can wash this off, let everything dump here, then take this down, dump it into a trash can, and you just open that port, that ball valve there, and it'll come out. You can see all the uh, juices hanging out. So then you're gonna have a lot of clogged stuff in here. You just kind of give it a little push, and there it goes, dumping out. Take your water hose, just spray that sucker down. Very easy to clean.